sending, check this out, thousands marched in Berlin over the weekend to protest their newest coronavirus restrictions as cases have surged, especially in Berlin. Now, you're not going to hear this on the other cable outlets. You're not going to hear it from a lot of the experts. But Europe now has 250,000 COVID deaths, and its nation's economies are in the toilet compared to ours. Again, understand this. Europe, which supposedly was the gold standard in managing COVID, now has more COVID deaths, and they've wrecked their businesses, their economies. The facts show, and so will history, that Trump was right. His approach was more balanced. Theirs was all in on lockdowns and restrictions, tracing and tracking, and still it failed miserably. The Democrats, if successful, heaven forbid, on November 3rd, if they're in there, they're never going to control the virus because that's not how viruses work. But Biden's keepers will keep inflicting untold emotional, physical, and financial harm onto millions of Americans with their strategy. We must not allow that to happen over a virus, even one as horrid and tragic and awful as this one. We need to take reasonable precautions based on real science and heed the old Churchill line, stand firm and carry on. And that's the angle. Joining me now is Dr. Ramin Oskwe, cardiologist, CEO of Foxhall Cardiology, founding member of the Medicine Cabinet. Dr. Oskwe, wonderful to see you tonight. Um, Thank you. Biden's COVID strategy consists of what that Donald Trump hasn't already done. The, the big thing is, number one, lockdowns, correct? And number two, national mass mandate. Will uh, either one work? No. In fact, lockdowns and mandatory mask mandates are probably slowing the onset of herd immunity. Uh, we want people who are generally healthy to actually uh, uh, contract COVID if they do naturally. If you're under the age of 50, you've got a 99.95 .95 chance of survival. You need herd immunity to develop, and that's gonna be somewhere between about 50 and 66%. Young, healthy individuals uh, get COVID, they get sick, they, they move on with their lives for the vast, vast majority. Look at President Trump, he's 70 plus. He got COVID, he did beautifully. Uh, I think that we've, uh, we need to talk about fundamental issues, vitamin D, zinc. If you're sick, quarantine. If you're fragile, you're vulnerable, again, uh, stay safe, quarantine. But the rest of us have to get the society moving. Yeah, uh, Dr. This, we can't, this is a cruel experiment. Dr. Oswe, this is what um, the Obamacare architect Zeke Manuel said about the so-called herd strategy. Herd immunity is not a strategy. It's the absence of a strategy. Um, it's never actually been shown that you can get immunity by just letting a disease run through the population. If we get 200 million people in the United States infected to get to herd immunity, that's probably uh, 800,000 to a million deaths. Uh, that is going to be a yeah. result of that. Push the panic button, Dr. Oscar. You got to do it the week before the herd, election. Herd immunity is neither strategy or not a strategy. Herd immunity is what viruses do, uh, like this. And uh, I don't live rent free in Zeke Emanuel's head, but I just don't know what he's thinking. Uh, it, what he says is simply fear mongering, and it's not really germane to this conversation by serious scientists that we both know. Bill Gates lashed out as well uh, at the White House COVID advisor, Dr. Scott Atlas, today. Watch. The most malign thing is where you start to attack your own experts and, you know, suggest that maybe politicians know better than disease experts. We now have a pseudo expert uh, advising the president. Dr. Asqui, where did uh, Gates get his medical expertise again? Well, apparently he's largely self-taught, but remember, Bill Gates doesn't even have a college degree. What he does have is tremendous wealth and power. But unfortunately, what he hasn't pointed out is that Bill Gates is tremendous bias toward vaccines. Remember what happened in Sudan with polio, the WHO and Bill Gates. Uh, he pushes one line of approach to this when really there should be multiple lines. But Scott Atlas has been incredibly diligent and really, quite frankly, brave in the swamp to really push real science and to put aside this fear mongering. 
uh, Bill Gates uh, really, unfortunately, has been given too much of a platform, and it's been to the detriment of the entire world. I think uh, he's desperate now. Well, he's uh, Scott Atlas must be onto something. <laughs> if so many of these multi-billionaire power, uh, you know, power mongers are, are after him. I, I like Scott Atlas more that Bill Gates went after him. Dr. Osby, thanks so much. Great to see you. Thanks. And up next, weekend at Biden's. What's old Joe?